and welcome to Peace on the Resistance. You're joining me in Rochdale at Touchstones Museum. Now, Rochdale is famous for many a great artist. Gracie Fields, Lisa Stansfield and Bobby Ball. But none of them are in comparison to tonight's guest, Cyril Potts. This is Cyril's latest work, Making Waves. Inspired by man's inhumanity to man and the price of fish. Just awe inspiring and beautiful. I'm joined by Cyril now, actually. He's going to tell us about his inspiration for the piece. Cyril, hello, how are you? Not bad. Not bad, nice to see you. I'm so honoured to be with you. Now, um, tell me about your inspiration for making waves. Well, basically, my in inspiration was for making waves was that my great granddad used to work on a ship and that my mum was telling me lots of memories about him and that's what inspired me but then he died he drowned on the ship oh and he hated water so i have the honor of being joined today by cyril's very own mother marjorie potts Hi Marjorie, how are you? Oh, I am all right. How are you? I'm very good. Right. Now tell us, tell us about about Cyril and his work. Are you proud of him? Oh, I'm so proud. I'm absolutely over the moon. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Now I'm hoping it'll bring in a few quid, you know. Mm. As I always said to him, never do anything to do with water mm. or the sea, because you see, my old grandfather. Yeah. Hated water. Had a terrible, terrible phobia. Did he? Oh, it was awful. He dogged him all his life, you right. know. <laughs> yeah, he ended up drowning. So the family saying was, don't make waves. So he says he's into all this artist stuff. Yeah. I said, now, do whatever you want. Because you, you can do anything. But don't do nothing to do with the water and sea. You know, what with the circuits? What does he go and do? This. Making waves. So, you know, to me it's a curse, and I don't really know what's going to happen. I really don't. Thank you, Marjorie, for that interesting uh, insight into your son's work. We really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Cyril Potts. that has been brought to Rochdale Touchstones. This, this exhibition is all about the sea and this inspired me because my great granddad used to work at sea. So I have lots of happy memories working. Uh, working. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh. Where is it? Oh, it's messing about again. Oh, <laughs> sick to death, this. He's hiding. Zero. <laughs> I know, I know what it is. What? I think it's the curse of the sword. <gasps> the sword, I don't know much about. I know about the sword. <sighs> Where are you from? I'm from Rochdale Paranormal Society. Oh, oh my tell you God. Some stuff about the sword. This is the sword of Chamberlain Potts. Chamberlain traveled many, many miles across the sea. He's the great grandfather of Cyril Potts and the grandfather of Marjorie Potts. Many, many years ago, there was a parrot killed by Chamberlain Potts, and the parrot belonged to a pirate called Long John Aluminium. And Long John Aluminium put a curse on this sword, which meant if anything was ever killed with this sword, there was a curse put on that person. And if anyone ever did any art to do with the waves or the sea, this curse was put upon them. Uh, which meant they just disappeared as soon as they made that art. Is, what's your name? It's the whole curl. 
He's the best detective inspector in the whole of Rochdale. You'll definitely find Cyril. But you see, they said this sword, the yeah. sword, it'd make him go away, just disappear. What are we gonna do? Um, I'll have to go and look for him, but we'd, I'll have to go in all the rooms for it. Do you think we might be able to find him then? If I go in all the rooms to see where he is, yeah. Do you think we'd be able to help you? Yeah, we, you'd have to come with me. Okay, we'll come with you then. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well. Cyril, are you in there? No, he's not there. but we do have a map of Rochdale. Maybe he's somewhere in Rochdale and you could try and find him with this. Oh, that's fantastic. and I am here with tonight's news that there are growing concerns in Rochdale for the whereabouts of missing artist Cyril Potts. Now, Cyril was uh, at the opening of his new exhibition, Making Waves, when an uh, eyewitness report said that he uh, disappeared into thin air. His family are distraught and um, I just don't know what to do. They've been searching high and low around the museum with many volunteers and have been camped out. They've looked everywhere. They've looked inside the recycling bins. They've looked in um, what seems to be the um, filing cabinets and he's, he's, he's just not anywhere to be seen. So uh, people are very worried. But uh, stay tuned for rolling coverage and we will be back with you with any breaking news on the whereabouts of Cyril Potts. Oh, yes. Cyril! Where? Hey, where? Where? Have you seen Cyril anywhere? No, but there's some expeditions here. You yeah. can have a look around there if you want. No. Yeah. It might be around there. Yeah. There's not a thing in it. No. Not a thing. It's not there. Are you in there, Cyril? No, 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 no. Cyril! Now listen to me. You're not in any trouble. We're not bothered where you are. <laughs> Just come home. We miss you. We need you. We're heartbroken, <laughs> aren't we? Yeah. Oh, she's never had a good word to say to, about you, but never mind about that. You always said you shouldn't have married him. Never mind, you know. She always said he was a bum steer, but you know, he's not, he's a decent fella. But never mind. Hey. Mum. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's a very, very naughty boy. And I'll tell you something else. He's not only let everybody down, he's let himself down as well. Mm. How are we going to get him out? Mm. Have you got an idea? Magic? I've got an idea. Have you? What? Use your smartphone. My smartphone? Oh, yes, I know what to do. Google it. Googly that thing, right? <laughs> How to get naughty boy out of watery picture? Okay, okay. How to get 
Naughty boy. Out of... Oh. Come on. Out What's of the picture. I've sent it, but it's just... Oh. Hold on. Hold it's it loading. Higher. It's oh. loading. It's loading. Is it no wiki? No. Oh, here we are. All right, what's it say? It says, sing, row, row, row your boat three times. Right, and it should come back? It should, yeah, it should just appear. That's what it says. Right. I mean, you can't trust everything you read on the internet. No, no, that's true. But we'll give it a go, shall we? We'll try anything, you know, I'm desperate. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> row, 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 row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Oh, oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, oh, oh my darling. Oh, where have you been? What was it like? Yeah. Well, I saw some dolphins, some whales, some used bits of toilet tissue. Ooh. And some yeah. smelly dead pirates. Yeah. Is that where you got that hat? Yeah, I robbed it off this guy, and I saw, I saw a, that dead parrot that was on the curse. I swear to God, I believe in that curse. No, I do, I do. Hold on a minute, my phone's ringing. Hello. Who is it? I'm sorry. Who's this again? A mystery buyer that wants to buy my work for fifteen pounds. Oh my God. Oh. 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 The work's going to you. The deal is done. All right, oh bye. God. 15 pounds! Yeah. Yeah. What should we do with the 15 quid? I think we should all go to, um, for a meal to celebrate. Oh. And welcome back and we are joined today with an exclusive interview with uh, Cyril Potts and um, after his horrendous ordeal in making Wavesgate. He's back, you're safe, you're sound. How was, how was it? Was it awful? Well basically it was kind of like a weird experience. The last thing I remember was me waking up in the sea. In the sea? Yes. That must have been traumatic for you yes definitely what could you see what was around you well basically i saw some whales dolphins some used toilet tissue which oh. was horrendous oh awful. some some dead bodies <gasps> and a dead pirate a dead pirate yeah do you know anything about the uh, history of this dead pirate well i also saw that you know, right at the beginning when you were going on about that silly curse? Yeah. Well, I saw what I believe to be the, the, pa the parrot from that curse, and now I really do start to believe in that curse. I really do. I do, I swear. Well, you heard it here, people at home. This is exclusive information with an exclusive interview with Cyril Potts. He, you won't hear this anywhere else. He's turned down this morning. He's turned down Breakfast TV. He's even turned down Lorraine. And he's here today with this vital information that curses about pirates really are true, okay? And you've got evidence to prove it. What have you, what well, have you brought in today? Basically, when I was down there and I came back round, I saw this dead, this dead um, um, pirate. pirate. Yes. And I just robbed his hat because I wanted something to remember my incredible journey. Life. Very resourceful of you there, Cyril. Yes. Fantastic. When we're really happy to, to have seen this evidence that the curse is true. Now, um, you uh, happened to uh, sell a piece of your artwork, didn't you? How much for? Fifteen pounds. Fifteen pounds. Now, that is pretty amazing, isn't it? What did you spend the money on? We all, me and my family, we all went to Red Hot Buffet World. Fantastic. And what, what did you have? I had leek and potato soup. Oh, for starters. To start. Yeah. And then I had roast beef dinner. Oh, so you, so you stayed quite traditional. Yes. Yeah. And then I had a hot chocolate fudge brownie sundae with ice cream. 
Fantastic. And did you go up for lots of times and yes. really get your money's worth? Refill after refill after refill. Oh, fantastic. Well, that's <laughs> great news. As you can tell by... You're certainly okay. looking well. So, thank you for coming in there, Cyril. And um, good luck in all your future ventures.